Why should you do shadow work? Shadow work is the act of uncovering hidden feelings and beliefs from the subconscious to deal with them with intention. The idea originated from Carl Jung, meaning the hidden self. Many people think of this as the dark side of the self. However, it doesn't mean dark as malicious or destructive necessarily. It just means the part of ourselves that we've yet to acknowledge is So, why should we uncover what's hidden in our subconscious by doing shadow work? As you know, I'm a very opportunistic filmer, so I figured I would film this while the bike studio is empty here. So shadow work is useful for when you find yourself self-sabotaging, not doing as well as you know you should be doing, when you're having conflicts in your relationship, when you say you want one thing but you keep acting in a way that's counterproductive, that logically we say we want X to be happy. but on a more visceral level, we actually want why. That we deserve to suffer or that we're afraid of getting that thing in our life. So then we are always working to push it away. Even if we're doing something that on the surface seems logical to pursue that goal, but because the subconscious drive so much of our action, it is actually working more powerfully. If we want to get the subconscious working on our sides, we need to listen to it and pull out what's down there and treat it with some respect and compassion. And these things can often be illogical. So we may say that we want a happy relationship but then we stay in the abusive relationship or we keep seeking them out because maybe subconsciously we feel that the pain itself is of value. Going through pain can be very useful in promoting growth and going through that challenge to become more. However, if you're stuck in a place where you actually believe that just the pain itself is of value, then it's important to separate those things, identify it so that you can deal with it consciously. Which one are you doing? Are you just staying in a situation because it's painful? Or are you actually doing it for meaningful growth? And so how do you use shadow work? So. Picture your dream life in front of you right now. And notice if you have any resistance to it. So if you have any resistance to it, identify what that is. When you're picturing your dream life, what are the top three feelings that come up? If some of those are positive, great, but don't ignore or repress the negative feelings because that's what we really want to deal with. So I encourage you, if you're in a position to stop this video and go take out a pen and paper so that you can actually write this down or come back to this when you have time. So once you've got a pen and paper, write down your top three feelings that you feel when you put your dream life in front of you. And you can also do this separately for any specific goal that you have when you put your vision of your goal being achieved in front of you. What are your top three feelings? And now let's deal with the objections. So when you picture your dream life in front of you, complete this sentence. 
When I picture my dream life in front of me, a problem that I would have is... And now go ahead and write down your top five problems. Could be the first top five things that come into your mind. Don't overthink it. So when you picture your dream life, an example of a problem that you might have is when I become successful and healthy, that I'll alienate my friends and they'll become jealous of me. Once you identify that, do you really want that to hold you back? If not, then let's create a reversal for that. So an example of a reversal for that would be once I'm successful and healthy, I'll attract the friends that are right for me and that support me and will lift me up further. Another example of a problem that you may have is I can't handle all those responsibilities by myself. And so a reversal of that could be that I will find the support that I need to uphold my responsibilities. And don't be afraid to just write down whatever objections come up off the top of your head. And sometimes when things come up, you may realize that they're so irrational that you can't possibly let them hold you back anymore. I'm afraid of being successful because then I can no longer be a victim. So doing the shadow work is really helpful and sometimes just uncovering the thing will set you free. One other quick example of shadow work that I'll share with you in this video is an exercise about why we're not stopping a particular behavior. So let's say that you want to quit smoking on some level, on a rational level, but you just keep not doing it. So ask yourself this three times. One reason why I haven't quit smoking is. Another reason why I haven't quit smoking is. And the real reason I haven't quit smoking is. And now, how will you deal with them? Don't be judgmental or push your shadow self away. Treat your shadow self as if it's a little child's imagination.